Um, so Griff won't be able to make it today, so um, I'll be facilitating uh, this week's community call. This is community call 86, weekly updates from the TC. Today is June 9th, um, and I'll be your host, Mitch. Um, so first things off, let's talk about praise. Um, everybody loves praise. I love dishing praise. It's probably my favorite part of the week just to go through about like what everything that happened and uh, give credit to the people who are creating value for the TEC. Um, to that end, sorry about the door. Um, if you want to dish praise, go into the T, uh, TEC praise channel in our Discord and use slash praise to dish it out. Um, if you want to make sure that people get the most credit for the praise, um, make sure that you add context to it so that people understand on the other hand for quantifying praise. Um, to what's going on um and then after that we can as we always do we can turn on our cameras for the recording um so go ahead everybody turn on your cameras let's see those beautiful faces yeah zep look at he's like he's 30 he's chilling look at him he's glowing look at that beautiful face and the driver watch out he's on the road now <laughs> Let's turn them on, turn them on if you go to camera. Beautiful. Well, we'll capture it in the recording there. Wonderful to see everybody. Juan, looking slick, love your hair. Need to work on the mullet though, buddy. Oh yeah, it's coming in, I love it, that's awesome. Cool, thanks everyone. Um, so next, let's look at our mission. Um, so um, the TEC's mission is to become the shelling point for the token engineering community. Our economic layer will fund projects that discover, develop, and proliferate the best practices for engineering safe tokenized economies while aligning our collective success with the individual benefit of token holders. Our social layer is even more important as it will unite the token engineering field around the ethical principles, standards, tools, and methodologies that emerge as this nascent field advances. Okay, and another PSA here. Um, let's talk about gravity. Um, so this is a really important process that we have. Um, this is the glue that holds us all together. So if you see any problems, or if you sense any frictions um, between yourself and other members of the TEC, use gravity. Um, so on the slide there, we have a list of all the active gravitons. Um, so having any issues, just reach out to any of them um, about your problems and we'll use the gravity process to solve any conflicts within our community. Um, after that, I'll skip some of the usual PSAs that Griff has and we'll jump right into the community stewards. Um, so I can pass it to Tam to give us some updates. We're skipping praise today? Oh, wow. I missed that slide. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tam. Yeah, so actually, let's, let's rewind a little bit before getting into Tam's section. Um, let's give like 45 seconds for each person to go around and dish some praise. Um, so I'll actually hand it to Tam to dish her praise. Yes. And she can pass it while I find mine. Okay. Um, and so I'd like to praise, first of all, uh, you uh, um, for facilitating this call today. I'd like to praise um, Jeff for uh, expressing his interest in helping and or I don't know whatever role he wants in uh, the uh, the service for token engineering intake projects, project funnel, project um, you know sort of like what whatever that first layer is and will be. I think that having Jeff uh, involved is going to be enormous for the TEC. I'd like to praise Nate, Gideon, Livia, and Eduardo for really helping me think through Stewart's evolution. So much advice process, so much really good perspective. I'd like to praise Livia for taking um, a much needed off the grid vacation. I'd like to praise um, Eduardo for facilitating the sprint retrospective so well. And I will pass to Alan TV. Hey, thank you, Pam. Uh, I want to praise Chui, <clears throat> Acid Laser, and John Journal for attending another animation and the production call. Uh, I want to praise Chui and Acid Laser for always helping me in Web3 stuff. Uh, 
embrace acid laser for helping me with the tc gitcoin grants 14 animation banner and i pass it to um, juanca thank you um yeah i would like to praise angela and patty and septimus um, for preparing an intro to token engineering tomorrow in spanish I would also like to praise Mitch for taking the lead of this call. And I also want to praise uh, Morgan for leading this week's Graviton training, talking about trauma. And as always, uh, Grief, Livy, and Tam, uh, because even when they are not present, um, their their footprint and uh, is always is and their soul is always here in the community. I will pass it to Septi. Um, praise to Septi for his birthday. Thank you, Juan. Uh, yeah, I want to display to Griff for going to so many places and spread the word of the TC. Want to display to Ivy for coordinating with the community around transparency practices, and want to display to Rex for cleaning with the data standardization. Want to display to Mitch for facilitating this call and honestly, like killing it with the reward system together with Christopher and, and everyone involved there. I want to give praise to Gideon for taking the hardest work stream in the TC and carrying it on your back. You're a hero, man. Thank you. Uh, I want to give praise to Bear for getting almost all the recordings on the TC, which is, which is such a nice energy. I want to give praise to Nate for the nice coming back and keeping the waves calm when these hot topics. I want to give praise to Tam for always uh, leading activities that will bonds in the TC. I want to give praise to... Oh, I, I, well, I, I will write everything on the chat and... There's more. I'll pass it to Angela. Hello, everyone. I'd like to dish praise to Trent, Nate. Uh, wait, I also I'll just dish praise and now I don't have the list anymore. I'll be here in a moment. Okay. I want to dish praise to Trent, Vasily, Jean, Letty, Nate, Septimus, Sean, Gideon, and myself for contributing to the important conversation on funding TC in the future and the sample proposal. Thanks for raising your voice in the forum. And I'd like to hand over to Hel Ra. Your name is cut off probably. Hellraiser. Hellraiser. Okay, hello. So for, that's just my old gaming tag and I just used it for uh, Discord as well. But uh, how's everyone doing? Um, I don't really know many people. Um, I was brought here by Gene. I'm here just, you know, hearing things out, seeing how the community works. I'm an energy healer, healer of people. You know, I'm here to bring the best out of people and get them to realize the full potential of mind, body, and soul. And many different other projects I want to work on eventually in the future once I get some uh, ball, uh, the snowball effect moving and, you know, get some momentum and uh, creating some assets and money to make real change in the world, you know? Other I'm just interested in learning. Hellraiser, do you want to dish any praise to anybody? Uh to Gene, I was gonna say. So other than awesome. that, I that point. Great. Do you want to pass it to anybody that hasn't gone yet? Hey yeah, I'm uh not too sure who hasn't gone. Uh has uh Sacred or Tam gone? Either yeah, way. secret. Sacred. I see oh, that we you can't can... hear you. You're unmuted, but we can't hear you. Mm. Let's give you a sec, see if you can get it. No, you are muted. Yeah, well, we'll give you a sec, Sacred, if you can figure it out, just um, speak up again. Maybe you have to reconnect to Discord. I really want to hear what you have to say now. No, we can't hear you. Maybe try, try leaving and coming back. Might be your audio settings. Um, in the meantime, while you're figuring that out, let's pass it to Adamska. Well, I would like to praise everyone here because I, well, this is the first time I was here and I thank you for this introduction. Is that it? 
Cool. Do you want to try and pass it to somebody that hasn't gone yet? I don't know if I want to pass. <laughs> okay, I got you this one. Uh, let's pass it to Adabola. Adabola, if you're there and you want to dish some praise, go ahead. Oh, yeah, 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 actually, Adabola, you, you, you know, you were not pro pronouncing it well, so I didn't know you were calling me or something. All right. All right, cool. Um, I just left the orientation call and I have to tell you, this is one of the best community I've joined in a while. So um, the process is going to Ginny or Jane for inviting me here. And I think that's the only person I know. Yeah, and I think I know Angela too from um, Token Engineering that we did a course from Jitcoin. So praises to Angela, praises to Ginny. Thank you. Thanks. Do you want to try and pass it to somebody who hasn't gone? Oh, I don't know anyone, so you could probably help me out here. All right. Yeah, to, um, to Juan Bell. Yeah, Juan Bell. Wanka already went, but let's pass it to ilk.eth. Uh, hello. Uh, yeah, I am one of those that has just finished the oriental call, orientation call, sorry. Um, so uh, I should praise you all, I guess. Uh, happy to be here and hope I can support the community in any way I can. Thank you. Wonderful. Do you want to try and pass it? Um, yeah, I'll pass it to Sagittario. Nice. Yeah, hello. Hello. Hello, guys. Can everyone hear me? Yes, we can. Yep. OK, yeah. So uh, it's my, uh, like Irk, it's also my first time here. And um, I want to send praises to EduTech, um, Nate, and the entire team for this, um, for this great um, introductory call. Thanks, guys. And by the way, I was trying to use the press function on the press channel, but it's not, it, 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 it doesn't seem to be working. Just, um, getting... just DM me, Sagittario. I'll help you out. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll send you a DM then. Cool. Um, you. Do you want to pass it to anybody? Can you hear me right now? Oh, we got okay, sacred. Yeah, take it sacred. All right, great. I don't know. I think it must be my network that was having some issues then. So right now, I want to praise uh, Joank Bell. I think uh, I'm familiar with Joank Bell and uh, Tam. Tam was the person that took the graffiti sh session uh, on Tuesday. I was uh, at that graffiti, uh, and it was a great time. And I extend my great... Uh, that, uh, praise to the people that coordinated this meeting. They've been very awesome. It's been a very worthwhile class. Thank you. Nice. Thanks, Sacred. Do you want to pass it to anybody? Uh, DK Wolf. Nice. Yeah. I would like to praise everyone, actually, uh, mainly the guys from the introduction call. And they were awesome. Thank you. All right. And I think we're getting close to the bottom, but maybe Edu, do you want to go? Sure. Um, I want to this praise to DK Wolf, Ilk, Sagittario, Sacred, uh, Hellraiser, and Adamska, who stay after the orientation call. Thank you so much for staying and getting to know more our community. If you have any, uh, you need any system with the praise system, let me know. Uh, I want to dish praise for Juanca for leading um, the efforts on the gravity. Uh, I want to dish praise to Gene. Uh, there were two people today uh, who joined our call thanks to him. I want to dish praise to Shui and the people from the translation team because we had four people, five people joining, uh, just interested in the bounties that was put out on the work. So thank you so much, uh, folks from whoever set up the D work because it seems to be working and bringing people over our community. And finally, I want to dish praise um, to Mitch for facilitating this call. And I will pass it on to Pat. Hey, thanks. 
So let me start teaching praises to our host at the Academy, uh, T360. We have a uh, host that just finished the five, the five uh, the session of five articles. And I teach the, their praises on Discord. And I would like to also praise Efra, Angie, and Anna for helping us with the visuals and leading our Twitter promotion in the academy and for always being so fast and anxious to get this done in, in the best ways. I also want to teach praise to Mitch for reminding me to quantify, uh, otherwise I, would, I might have forgotten. And yes, I'm going to teach praise, I don't have names, but for the Writers Guild that are collaborating with the T with the T Academy as well. And yeah, those are my praises. I don't I, I think everyone went, but I mm. would pass it back to you, Mish. Anyone else? Let's uh, let's start? pass it to Gideon. Okay, so I want to praise Angela and Trent for pushing to make the sample proposal better and to help catalyze some much needed conversation around TEC spending. I want to praise Tam for doing the hard work to transform the stewards uh, to match the TEC's changing needs. Um, I want to praise Zepti for becoming a legal driver. Um, I want to praise YGG for joining the last sample call and for um, diving in on the question of treasury management. I want to praise Jeff for joining the camp, the sample call and being willing to dig in, uh, hopefully, and help us figure out the, TE, the token engineering consulting service intake processes. I want to praise Bear for his great thinking and analysis uh, analysis around the future of standardizing financial information. Um, and I want to praise Rex for his relentless drive to generate useful financial information. And finally, I want to praise San, Santi for being willing to help out in figuring out this uh, NFT fundraising strategy. Um, I think that Nate, maybe he's the last. I'm the last one. Yay! Finally. No, I like being the last. Um, I want to praise Edu for an amazing presentation in the TEC orientation. I want to praise Livy and Livia and Edu for facilitating an awesome call on the TE flower yesterday. I want to praise Nick for becoming such an amazing influence in the Omega working group. Uh, I want to praise Durgadas for all of his constructive criticisms. Uh, I want to praise Mitch for facilitating this community call. Uh, praise Tam for using the advice process so well to transform the stewards working group. I want to praise Angela for her engagement on the forum. I want to praise Gideon for his leadership in a complicated and, let's be honest, tense sample working group. Um, and I want to praise Zepti for getting his driver's license. That's really awesome. Congratulations, man. And I'll pass it back to you for the community updates, Mitch. Joke's on you. I'm the last one to dish praise. Oh, my. Yeah. I never can be last. Um, I want to dish praise to Tam for reminding me to let people dish praise on the community call. Um, and I'd like to praise uh, Christopher Vi, Maddie G, and Nebs for the development work on praise and the praise dashboard. Um, Ruben and Mert for updates on the proposal inverter UX and wireframes and dealing with everybody just like vomiting all their ideas onto them all the time. Um, praise Edu for facilitating the sprint retrospective call. Um, Griff for taking off time to show the TEC in Austin. Um, and praise to Zep, Gene, Gideon, Nate, Sean, and Angela for just like the absolute wealth of ideas and feedback and things in the Sampo funding proposal. Um, and to Ziwe and Nuggin for the control down on the RAD dashboard. And Tam for keeping all the stewards organized and accountable. And with that, um, I'll just make a quick PSA for everybody that's new um, to this that just jumped in from orientation, it seems. If you really want to make your praise go far, um, dish it in the praise channel. Um, I know Sagittarius was having a bit of trouble. If you're not sure how to do that, just reach out to me. I'll show you how to dish praise um, in there. And then we'll actually, what we'll do is we'll have it quantified by people in the reward system. And then that'll actually turn into TEC tokens, um, which get distributed out to our contributors. So this is a really important process of like, if you dish praise in the call, make sure that you dish the same praise um, in the text channel. Um, if you're not sure, just reach out to me. I can help you get that started. And so without further ado, finally, I'll pass it back to Tam to give us the community stewards update. Cool. Thanks so much, Mitch. So um, this is uh, the end of Sprint 36. 
Uh, we just had our retrospective, which I'll share a little bit more in a minute. But if you click on this sprint board link, um, you will go to the, uh, I'll share my screen now. You'll go to the TEC's sprint board. We use Zen Hub for our sprint board. And you'll see that the sprint board is already cleared and ready for our sprint planning tomorrow, um, which I believe uh, Eduardo will also be facilitating. Thank you, Eduardo, for uh, facilitating all of the scrum events this sprint. Um, and so uh, it's a way for you to see what's going on in the TEC. Uh, you could see what's going on in the different working groups. If you search for um, labs, working group, uh, uh, communications, communitas, Omega, as well as to see what's going on sprint by sprint. Um, so tomorrow there'll be another sprint in this list and you'll be able to see what's on our plate for the next two weeks. Um, there's a list of meetings on this uh, slide. Uh, I'm not gonna read through them, but um, the uh, these these it's a stewards working group, but it's the community stewards. So anyone from the community is welcome to join in any of these uh, calls, including the stewards working group, the stewards council, and our scrum events, the sprint planning and the sprint retrospective. And if we hop to the next slide now, um, at the end of every sprint, we do a sprint retrospective. Um, you know, the, the scrum, uh, Framework is based uh, on three pillars, um, um, transparency, introspection, and uh, adaptation. So um, one of the ways that we can be very transparent and introspective and adaptive is to look at the things that have um, gone well uh, in our community or in our working group or in our own personal lives or professional lives. And then the things that could have been done better in these last two weeks. So we always have an opportunity to change to um, the changing circumstances, the change in context and reprioritize every two weeks so that we're always focused on the right things. Uh, this retrospective, we had um, one uh, thing which came up, which really resonated the most with uh, most of the stewards who are participating. And that is making a list of priorities of critical work on the TEC. And I think this will come up a little bit more uh, in Sampo's working group, but also uh, what I'm about to talk about next, because we talked a little bit about this uh, in our stewards weekly. So I'm going to hop there now. Uh, what's on the stewards' minds? So we always start with a temperature check just to get a feeling for what's going on in the environment. And then we talked about the uh, the Sampo um, thread on the forum specifically around limiting spending and whether that was something that was a decision for a decentralized decision, so for community members or token holders to make, or whether it was a decision that should be um, that should come out of, of a, a more centralized group. Any recommendations we could make? Um, there's a few things that came up around changing the CV settings so that uh, spending could be more difficult. Um, and some other ideas was around um, having a way to really focus on priorities by um, adding to the proposal uh, template for funding uh, a more um, direct impact to or value that would be brought to the TEC or a more direct impact to the TEC. So the community would be able to gauge the impact or the value that this proposal would bring to the TEC versus, um, yeah, versus not having that information readily available. Um, we also talked about how the stewardship is evolving, um, and it's already evolved since this call because there have been a few, a few really intense uh, advice process sessions. But it's essentially, you know, there are the the, the fundamentals for the stewards that the three um, criteria were have been. Uh, active and present, servant leader in the know. And uh, it served us well up until this point. But since the last stewards working group funding didn't pass, we are reevaluating what do we really need in the TEC. So again, becoming more focused on what are the priorities for stewardship and what should that look like? So um, we have discussed or I've, I've asked for advice process of the idea of not requesting funding for um, you know, basically pausing this UBI, 
the stewards funding is pretty minimal. It was 500 wrapped X die a month for stewards and uh, 750 a month for working group coordination leads. So it's not really a co full compensation, but more something like a UBI. So um, we got some feedback on the idea of pausing this UBI for uh, a few months to see, you know, or, or indefinitely, like just what, what do people feel about if we pause the compensation for stewards and um, have a sort of advisory group um, be created so could help advise the stewards. So it's a, a kind of a group of ex people that are stakeholders in the TEC, but not stewards in the TEC. So be able to ask questions and get some outside perspectives for um, how we can improve uh, different, different dimensions of the TEC. So we have some really interesting feedback here too. Um, I, I don't know if that there was any particular conclusion, but I think overall there was not too much, um, I would say contrarian, uh, or I would say not too much, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess not too much uh, um, thinking that we absolutely have to fund stewards and there's no other way. So there's some room to, to come up with a, a good proposal for the stewards working group too. Um, and that's it. And this was a nice little chart that Wonka uh, dropped in to share some of his thinking too. Okay, and then just about, you know, the token engineering commons is based on, was was built uh, using the design patterns from the common stack organization. The commons, there's a new commons that uh, is going to be created in the world. Uh, the commons prize um, just ended and the winner of the prize or the community that's awarded the prize is the grassroots economics commons. And I'd encourage anyone who's interested in, um, the, the design patterns of common stack grassroots economics to, um, to, you know, to find out more, join the common stack discord and, um, uh, Thank you. Is it my computer with the audio cutting out? I think it's me. No, it's Tan. Oh. It's Tan? Yeah, it's good. The She's second comments. Uh oh. Your audio is cutting in and out, Tam. I don't know what's happening. So, if you want to support. The... No, it's me. Uh -oh. I think you have a lag, but you're. You're good now, I think. I'm not sure. Try. Try again. Are you able to or no? All right. Um, well, maybe I'll just wrap it up and say check out these. Is that Tam? I can't see. Okay, um, check out these retweets here. Um, TC stars Sherman Boschmier, um, author of the landmark book and founder of Token Kitchen, previously Blockchain Hub in Berlin. She also co-funded and was the director of the Research Institute for Crypto um, Economics at the Vienna Years University of Economics. Um, and, oh, is that Tam? Are you gonna make it? I was already at the end, so I, I passed to Wonka. Sorry about that. Um, okay. Trouble. No problem. Take it away, Wonka. You have to unmute for Yeah, there you go. Hey, thanks. Um, well, in the Gravity Working Group, we are trying to bring competence and awareness of uh, conflict management competence and also uh, providing the service for easy to access conflict management in the community. Um, you can move to the next slide and right now we are in the third Graviton training. We have the study plan in the forum. The fourth session will start next week with Didan. We will be talking mm -hmm. about nonviolent communication. So if anyone wants to jump in, you're super invited. Also, um, if you haven't come to any of the sessions if, and if you come 
uh, to this next session until the 10th session, you will be able to complete the six pops. So that's also um, a really important path for our certification for the mediators that we uh, um, are training. For the call to action on Mondays, we are having a, a research on psychology and well being. Uh, on Tuesdays, we are um, having two calls one in the Aragon server um, for the Umbrella coordination call, that the Umbrella is the first client of Gravity. Um, offering some of uh, the um, competence uh, regarding conflict management to other organization. And also we have the Graviton training session uh, in the night of Europe, uh, in the noon of, of America. Uh, on Wednesdays, we have our coordination call where we tackle uh, some topics. And on Fridays, we have a website design call because we are also uh, designing our website. Um, some of the highlights from this week is that we were also finalists on the common prize. Uh, yesterday, the Gitcoin grant round 14 started, so you can support us uh, donating to our grant. And also, we have this tweet um, that says, trauma can be created by a shock when it's too much too fast or when it's too little for too long. Any of us can get overwhelmed in those situations. And our, our body can trigger the instinctive reaction of flight, fight, freeze, or fun. Um, yeah, uh, we were talking about trauma this, this Tuesday. And it was very interesting to know that we all have these um, instinctive reactions that can happen to tr um, tr or can get triggered by traumatic events. Yeah, with that, I'll pass to Sofko. Can I add something to that? Um, I specialize in that. And usually trauma gets trapped in the body as energy if you go into the energy centers or within your organs or from uh, parts of your body like nervous systems or back systems. So I'm a trauma expert pretty much as a healer in many different ways. And energy, so if you get the energy back in line, the rest of the, rest of the body helps restructure. Because we're all Super energy at, uh, part, uh, uh core you know sorry i just wanted to throw that out there since it's related to what no you said. You're, you're super invited to all of our gravity sessions our our training and our calls we we tackle all of this and people who are who have expertise on these topics are super welcome and it's what we need in in our call so you're welcome cool. i will um invite you christopher to just send him a dm to juanca and then you can stay in touch with him uh i will take the soft call for today uh there you go Mitch. So, um, Sofkov, it meets every Wednesday, 7 p.m. CET, 1 p.m. Uh, 1 p.m. EST. So this week was a an interesting exercise on Sofkov. We basically went through the TE flower and how the every petal of the TE flower represents the TEC now. So um, a bunch of community members join and fill in the blanks with uh, different aspects of this flower and we sort of identify and map out what were the things that we thought um, each of these petals meant in the TEC. And then we went through a second exercise, which is the next slide, which was what were the missing aspects that were not represented on this flower? So, and we start shows the ones that we thought were more important. So for example, here, linguistics, uh, semantics, semiotics, identity, and demography. And that one came as one of the also leading as leading uh, sciences that are not represented currently in the TE flower. And in the next of call, what we will do is to surface a little bit deeper into this um, into this mapping out of the TE flower and see how we can create a TE flower that actually represents the TEC and what we are currently doing and what will be the processes to update that TE flower every now and then and um, how we can exemplify or provide examples of every aspect of the petal. And if we are failing, because maybe we are failing at some aspect of the flower and we will need to uh, you know, provide support to, the, to those areas. So that was our collective intelligent exercise. So uh, if you are interested in this kind of exercises, please uh, don't hesitate to join next soft of call. Uh, again, um, I already explained it on the orientation call, but the A principle of uh, Ofstrom are the framework that sort of frame this community. Uh, here are explained. Um, 
in a, in a summary. And then for the next working group that I will pass it to myself, which is Communitas Working Group. Uh, it's a community building working group. Uh, we meet every Monday, 8 p.m. CET. And basically this week, um, we did a few things. The first one was to update the pinned messages on Discord. Uh, so huge praise to Jason Phelps. And the idea of this was there was a bunch of messages that were outdated all across our Discord. So we went through all of them and updated and message accordingly to different uh, stewards who um, to let them know that they needed to update their pin messages so it doesn't bring confusion. And we made a check in that all the data was accordingly. And as a result of that process, uh, we came, Jason came out with this idea of the invent, uh, in, uh, inventory information, sort of a source of truth that can say where the information is different, where the information needs, it needs to be added. And it's a spreadsheet that is still in development, but we are, uh, along with Costa, we are trying to find ways of how we can connect and have uh, a sort of a single source of truth that can be updated regularly. So if you go to the Gitbook, the Gitbook will be updated. So if you see the same information, uh, it will be the same information all across our sources. And the next thing that we did was an update of the spreadsheet that we use for outreach. So the idea of this was that to have a more data-driven uh, spreadsheet. So now we will measure uh, who joined the orientation call, we will measure uh, who were uh, given a one-on-one. We will measure who was welcome. And we will measure after a, after a few weeks who has plugged in into the TEC. So the idea would be that we can measure all of these things and keep track of the community health on that matter. So that was done by Costa, so praise to him. And, um, and then these were the folks who joined today for the orientation call. So thank you so much, everyone who stayed and who joined, and also praise to Nate, who uh, who provided support on the orientation call. With that being said, I will pass it on to Gideon. Take it away. Thanks, Edu. Um, I love how you have the latest pick from today's call. That's awesome. Um, so Sample Working Group meets on Tuesdays, uh, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, 2200 Central Europe time. Um, the you know, for those who are new and are not familiar with Sampo, Sampo is the working group that that um, works on the value, like growing the value of the economic layer of the token engineering commons. Um, so we focus on uh, financial questions, income generation, and fundraising. Um, right now is kind of a big day for us because we just put our season one funding proposal up for conviction voting. Um, so, uh, if you believe that this is important work, getting us focused on um, starting to generate income and becoming financially sustainable, then please go vote if you're a token holder. Um, you can, um, this, there's a link right here on this slide, but for those who don't have access to the slide, you can go into the Discord and go to the community section and click on announcement. I, uh, announcements, I put a post there so you can link to, oh, thanks, Mitch. Um, so um, what are we doing right now um, within the sample working group? Um, obviously, this, there was a proposal that, that went in front of this, um, this vote, and it generated a lot of good conversation, actually. Um, so a lot of it around spending, but also there's a growing conversation right now about treasury management and how we handle that. So one of the earlier things that we're going to be diving into is uh, developing a policy and some plans around how to do that in the right way. Um, we're also in the midst of working um, out a, a way to get a message out to token holders to help make sure that they're re re remaining excited about the TEC. So we found the delivery mechanism for that. We figured out, uh, we think, how we're going to get that out. Um, and then we've got a draft message. Um, mm -hmm. It's gotten some feedback from folks, and we'll, I'm going to be trying to finalize that by the end of this week. Um, and then... Um, you know, this the sample working group is generating a lot of um, interest, and um, our calls are are very active. And so, one of the things that we're now uh, working on starting this week and and next, um, and I'll be working with Bear and probably Enti on this, is how we put in place the structures and processes to be able to handle this large influx of of interest, um, so that we can remain open to new ideas, but then also not get too um, 
side, you know, kind of bushwhacked and like taken this way and that way so that we can actually make progress. Um, so that's in process right now. We, we're using uh, clarity as kind of the way that we organize ourselves. And um, so that it's going to be heavily oriented around that. Uh, and then finally, um, there's some uh, conversations that are starting around our first service that we're going to be focused on, which is the token engineering consulting intake process. We'll probably have a better name for that. Um, so I will stop there and pass it on to Omega. Who's going to take that? Oh, I thought we had a Mert on the call. Uh, is anybody able to take on Omega? Okay. So I was on the call yesterday, and right now their okay, main thanks. initiatives are, um, so they meet at Wednesdays, 3 p.m. EST. Uh, right now their main focus is on building the Consilience Library and how to curate uh, uh, onboarding and to how to how to on, onboard curators and how to curate this library for future iterations. So if you're interested in developing and curating a library for token engineers, this is the place to go. So yeah. Cool. Thanks for jumping in Nate with that quick update. Um so we'll keep it there and we'll pass it to Oh we don't have a Chewy today either. Is anybody able to give an update for cons? Yeah I'm here. Oh, you're here, Chewy. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I made it. Uh, yeah, praise Acid Laser for uh, also taking care of the updates uh, uh, for today. So uh, some of the updates that we've had in uh, comms is, um, well, pretty much like the, the, the most obvious one is uh, belongs to the animation and video production team. So uh, praise them for coming up with this uh, animation. Um, we figured out that as part of uh, like the efforts for promoting the Gitcoin grants, it could be a good chance uh, to uh, put in there some of the character testing that they're doing for the uh, uh, the quantification uh, tutorial. So, uh, so yeah, they came up with this really cool animation uh, GIF for for uh, for promoting it on Twitter. Um, and uh, the T Academy team is. Uh, Coming uh, is is submitting a new proposal to the uh, to the forum. Uh, the marketing team uh, just sent uh, their number three uh, newsletter. So praise uh, NT and Gene for taking care of that while uh, Manu is uh, on vacation. Uh, the translations team uh, is setting up the mirror for uh, uploading some of the content that uh, has been there for many months. So uh, thanks also contributors in translations for uh, their patience with with this. Uh, and the Twitter planning team uh, is putting a lot of efforts into the Gitcoin Grants uh, 14th round. So, uh, yeah, if you uh, came across this uh, thread, uh, if you could support uh, the community with a retweet, uh, we would thank you very much. And with that, I'll pass it to Septi in Transparency. Thank you, Chuy. Yeah, on Transparency, we meet every Monday, 5 p.m. CT. And today, actually, can you go to the next slide, Mitch? Uh, and yeah, there is a, a vote there, like uh, we were being pushing for quite so long and yeah, the idea is like, do we want to, like there was an advice process, like people was mostly agreeing, like we should be transparent around our studies, but uh, yeah, I've been chatting with Libby and the idea is like, yeah, get the quorum of uh, the big community on that topic. So yeah, rock the vote if you want, like uh, we get transparency around studies and I, this would also help uh, sample since it would like for the strategy, like they are giving, like it would help them like to see who it, everyone is doing. Also, I'd, uh, I'd like to say like the transparency proposal pass it uh, very quick. Actually, like I executed it this Monday, but it passed it like in two days, which was amazing. And actually, uh, let me let me share my screen. Uh, Screen two. Let me open the the dashboard because there is something cool, cool, cool here. Maybe I open this other browser. The commons. So basically, like the transparency proposal was asking for take ten k something, but then uh, also like what something that happened is like someone sold fifty uh, k of TC. Uh, we can see it uh, 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 here. Wait. Yeah, 
So one sold like 50K of TC, which means like we got like 7K uh, of tribute that are going back to the common pool. Uh, and that means like, yeah, like the expenses uh, for this proposal actually were like 3K, uh, thanks to that uh, ABC. Uh, and yeah, with that, I'll pass it to Mitch for covering legal. Rock the vote. Rock the vote. Um, yeah, so I'll just cover for Ivy slash Griff on this one. Um, not a whole heck of a lot to talk about. Um, they're going to be moving from bi-weekly calls to monthly calls. Um, there is a meeting tomorrow at 4 p.m. CET. And there is an open call for legal experts. So if you have a legal background and strong interest in decentralized technologies, get involved in the legal working group. Reach out to Ivy if you are interested in that. And without further ado, I will pass it to, by the way, you're still sharing screens up. All right, cool. Um, I'll pass it to myself for rewards. Um, so um, we meet every week on Wednesday, 2 p.m. Eastern, 8 o'clock Central European time. And some quick updates. Um, Quant 12 is closed. That was for the second part of May. We're going to be having a review call um, right after this call now. Um, so if you're a quantifier um, or you're just interested to see how the quantification review process works, go ahead and join that call. Um, Nuggin put up the rewards for November 2021. Um, and so those should be going up to the reward board soon for distribution. You can check out the forum post he put there, as well as the rad analysis, which is really awesome to look at if you have the time. Um, so this is something that Nuggin and Z-Way put together. We have one of these for every round of distributions. And you can take a comprehensive look at the quantification and also the distribution of praise among our praise givers and our praise receivers. So all that information is publicly available for every round of distributions and you can go ahead and check it out. Um, some other updates, um, the FAQ page is live and it needs some content. So if you have been using the praise dashboard and you have some frequently asked questions that you think would be useful to have built in, um, go ahead and jump into this thread in Discord and tell me what your frequently asked questions are. Um, after that, some quick development features. Um, we added multi-wallet functionality um, using Rainbow. So now you can connect to the Praise dashboard with more than just MetaMask. Um, dark mode, wow, for you late night quantifiers, there is a dark mode that will be available for the Praise dashboard. And last, is um, advanced user pool management for some administrators um, like myself and a couple others just to manage the quantifier and the praise um, giver pool. Um, and more info, we're gonna be getting a big push for people to activate their source cred accounts. We're just working out some last minute difficulties with the source cred bot, um, but then we'll be launching a campaign for everyone to activate their source cred so that they can get rewards from the activity that they've been doing in GitHub and the forum. Um, PSAs, oh. uh, if you are new and you wanna learn how to dish great praise, there is a document that Livy made that will show you just how to do that. And so go ahead and give that a read. Oh, my internet is super slow. But here you go. Rules of praise document, lots of great information in there. Um, if you're also interested in joining the quantification process, um, this would basically involve um, taking in all the praise data that we receive um, from every period, usually every biweekly period, and then you would actually get to use your judgment to give it a score amongst another pool, um, amongst a larger pool of quantifiers, and then that actually helps us give it a score that then turns into rewards for the praise. Um, so if you want to be a part of that process, reach out to me and I can show you how to become a quantifier. Um, you also get rewards for quantifying, so that is a cool incentive as well. Um, and last, 
If you haven't activated your praise account, please do it. So if you're receiving praise and you want to make sure that you get rewards, um, type in slash activate in the TEC Discord and follow the prompts to activate your account. And that's it for me from the rewards. I think this CAD CAD stuff is from last week. I think I will pass it to Angela for the yep. token category. Yep. Okay, all right. Uh, updates from outside that I'd like to share. If we go to the next slide, I Nate made a great comment on, okay, what about TC utility driving? TC value, why would projects be willing to grow TC value and not their own tokens? And actually we at TE Academy are frequently asked, TE Academy, when launch your token? And then I saw say, our token is TC. Why should we not try to push TEC's value? Because we are part of this ecosystem. All right. Uh, and that said, um, let's go to the next slide. Here's the journey um, we envision for token engineers. I don't go into details, but there are, if we go to the next slide, there are some opportunities we can take a look at. For example, contribute to T knowledge com comments. Uh, this is a program we plan to realize the unfundable. So we had a conversation, I guess it was also Nate, on um not all projects that are relevant for developing our discipline are um, creating profits and that's absolutely true so how can we direct other forms of value to these unfundable projects and this is um, this t knowledge commons program and um, we have go swiftly back of course with pe hackathons or open science programs that we have been running in the past we have an opportunity to actually uh, drive TEC demand. Also with the matchmaking of junior TEs to projects, uh, there are many opportunities how to do that. And I would love to share our ideas and go to the next slides with you guys and also discuss it um, for inspiration for brainstorming um, next Wednesday, June 15th, if you're interested, 4 p.m. UTC um good enough pinged you i hope we can use the sample voice channel to take a first look at that also in line with this que the questions that have been raised last week value inflow for tec all right and then we have some more slides and some more announcements yeah a couple of times already mentioned introduction to token engineering in spanish taking place june 10th um make sure to invite you, all your friends and i'm also looking forward to this first session in spanish uh, then we also have um, spanish speaking te community channel uh, on our discord for uh, all kinds of uh, te chats um and te academy related chats in spanish and we have a brand new series of lectures and this is special because uh, it uh, this is next slide. It's called Diving Deeper. And uh, it's about computational social choice and crypto. This is exciting because with the T Fundamentals program and over the last two years, we've actually tried to synthesize the, the flower petals, like all the disciplines that we can draw from for token engineering and try to develop this vision of token engineering, the new engineering discipline. However, of course, we have to dig into these petals again to really leverage this wealth of knowledge and research that has been created there. And social choice is actually one of them. It's a sub um, a domain of game theory and Nimrod is going to produce three lectures and a workshop. It's all about voting mechanisms building actually on the wealth of knowledge in two thousands of years and uh, insights on votings then put this into computation so algorithmic voting mechanisms and ranking mechanisms and this is actually then enabling it um, let's say removing all the unknown 
unknowns in designing voting systems and that's why we are going to invite of course you everyone in this call everyone in tc and also um many dao people dao researchers to dig into computational social choice it's uh, the series is going to start on june 23rd and we'll have then upcoming lectures throughout september october and it will be also part of our um, online course program that's it to the academy thank you wonderful thanks angela um, so I think we are at the bottom here. I don't think there was a spotlight this week. If there's any last minute announcements um, that any of the stewards would like to make, now is the time. We've got about three minutes left. I have a little bit of an emergency one. Um, uh, Zepti just pointed out that I put the wrong uh, multi-sig in the proposal. So. So I just switched it. So I am now, yeah, so do. So uh, I've just updated it. I've got a new proposal up there. So there's a, luckily there's only like a couple of people who voted. So please, um, I will notify those people, but the, the correct one is up there now. Thank you, sorry about that. Okay, so make sure if you rock the vote, rock the vote again um, for this new Sampo funding propose, proposa. Um, <laughs> Uh, now it's on the okay. Oh, and, and rock the snapshot too. Rock all the things. Rock on. Okay. Thanks everyone for coming to the TEC community call. Um, we'll do this again same time next week, hopefully with uh, Griff's lovely bearded face instead of mine. And uh, thanks for coming. Thanks, me. Thanks, and everyone. everyone. Quantify review you, call everyone. after this. I just have to make the agenda.